We are we are on YouTube now, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this has been a, this is a real problem, you know. I mean, I just don't know how we'll continue doing this show with with the with the way this is. Uh, I don't know what to do. You know, maybe just run it as an audio show like we used to. You that know, may be the best way. It may be the best way. Oh. Yeah. Um, I you know I can't I can't use the Windows machine Sorry. because it forces me to use the new Skype and the new Skype I, I you know getting I got I got the video on but getting all four frames of video I couldn't get you know if you were there were four of you on screen like this only one of you went through that system that NDI system so it's I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do a lot of Every time you answered a call, uh, other for when, for instance, let's say we were talking, and yeah. you answered Charlie, it mm -hmm. put me on hold. And, and then I, when Tony came on, it put me on hold. Yeah, so I was unable to reconnect uh, at that point, and you were uh, either preoccupied or unable to get me back on. Right, right. It was because the 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 the, the sign came on and said. Answering this call will put you on hold. Right, right. And that, you know, this, this it's a real problem. You know, I mean, what we're going to do about it, I have no idea. You know, but it, 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 it certainly has fucked up, uh, fucked up my little business here, whatever that business was. You know, and and uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. You know, not happy about it at all. Yeah. Do you talk to professionals, people who uh, do this? And, like, and I, work you know, I can't get a hold of anybody. I can't find uh, anything I online. I have a service called Obedia that I pay every month. Yeah. And, uh, you know, do, do you want me to call them and ask them? Uh, or you can do a one-time thing. These guys are great, and they really know their, their stuff. Uh you know, I, I'd like to find out if there's some way on my unlimited. I have a uh, a monthly service, and I, I don't use them that often. Uh, you know, I, I don't know whether they do it for you, saying that I'm having a problem with you getting on, and maybe they can then solve it. Right. And it's part of what you said. Huh? O B D I A. Yeah, well, um, uh, obedient. Uh, I, I, like, I bet they, I bet they don't even. I bet they don't even have the answer to this. Uh, they really are amazing. No, but what are they amazing at? Uh, audio and uh, you know the the the, the setups. I, so, yeah. The next thing I'm going to have them do is help me with green screen. But uh, uh, they got my uh, personas going. Uh, I, I I had some problems. They were able to just work. Those them are out. all basic audio video problems this is a a a video oh boy it's just it doesn't it, it, it it's going to be impossible for me to use that you know I, I'll, I'll give you their phone number you can talk to them and see if they have the expertise to help you uh and because you, you you call them up they answer the phone uh it, and you know at least you can pose the problem before you give them 20 bucks and uh and, and see if it's something they can help you with. I did at one point get a bunch of people online at the same time because I added you yeah. to a blank slate, so to speak, and then it called all of you. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. And, and then you all answered and you were all there. Unfortunately, so far as the video was concerned, I couldn't get the video to have all four. You know, now maybe I could have, no, I couldn't. Uh, I tried that. No, hmm. I don't know. I give up. You know, I really give up. This is, this is so frustrating. It's it's uh, it it's got me for a loop. Well, uh, if you use the Mac, and I know there's limitations to that, you can still use the old system, and they're not asking you to upgrade every five minutes. Well, that's true, but it has its problems. Uh, and and it, the, the there are several problems there. Number one, the picture I can't adjust the picture like I could before. It doesn't yeah. present itself on the screen in the same way, you know. Um, yeah. 
And I mean, it's 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 nice enough, I guess, but I, I also am having a hard time fitting it on. Okay, um, and it, it, it you know I just I, it just frustrates me that there's no way to get that picture from the from the from the. Oh, it's just I I give up on it. I really do. You know, yeah. maybe I'll have to just cash in this whole gabnet idea, and you know, if the other guys want to do their shows, fine. You know, maybe I'll do this show just as an audio only show. Uh, yeah. Because I, I can't see doing it as a video show any longer. It just doesn't work that way. I mean, I, I can, I guess, you know, I mean, I can do it and we can put it on like this uh, and, and, and just, uh, you know, just say, hey, we're just going to concentrate on having a good discussion here. And not sit around and worry about whether the video looks good at all. Yeah. Know. Yes, Charlie. Jack and Damien, they're able to get the new Skype to work somehow? Well, they can get it to work uh, to a certain extent. Uh, Damien felt that he would have to call people, as I did with you guys earlier. Uh, 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 Jack said that what he did was put one person online and then uh, add them. And I, I, I'm going to have to call him tomorrow and find out exactly what he did with that. But that's still, they're just audio. All they have to worry about is the audio. I have to worry about the video, too. Mm -hmm. You know, and the reason the video's working here is that I can still run, I'm running the old Skype. And even if I ran the new Skype, I could run the picture on here because it doesn't interfere with me being able to to get the picture uh the video uh and and so it, it that that's not a problem either um uh on on the on the mac and now i i don't know if the picture is going to look that much different on the um if i were to use uh, uh the newer skype for instance on here uh, and whether it would be easier to use, I, I have no idea. But I, I still don't. I still would like somebody to be able to tell me. Um, it would it would like to tell me how you get people into a group without having to call them all. Okay. Well, that's why I'm trying to. Uh, how did you spell Obedia? Uh, I I didn't remember how to spell it, Brian. Uh, so I could look it up. Oh, Obedia. Yeah. I thought it was. It I'm just spelling it phonetically, O B E D I A. All right. Yeah, Pro Audio Software Training. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you the link, Alex, and you know, just call them. How, up my, how much do you pay them a month? Oh, uh, I have uh, uh, more than I need, and I'm paying like 19 bucks a month. Uh, but you can do it for you know so much a minute. Uh, yeah. Also, and you don't have to have a okay. monthly subscription. Here comes Marcella Roberts um, into our little grouping mm -hmm. here, and now everybody is. Oh boy, I've got a little problem here. I got to get uh, every, it be, people. Some people's faces aren't in completely, and it's. Uh, well, let me just do this. Hold on a second. This way, okay. I'll just be able to get. I, I sent you the link to your uh, messenger. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Let me see here. Um, let me do that. Let me see what happens if I do this. Hold on. I'm going to pull this out. Yeah. 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 There we go. I'm trying to make the picture so that it will be... Um, there we go. At least we can... Well, we can't see everybody, but... Uh, um, let me see here. Oh, there we go. I got everybody now. And Marcella, show it. Turn on your camera. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is really. Oh, there. I got. I got. I got a fairly good-looking picture going now. You know, took me a little while, but um, and um, no, I don't want my video on there, but I've got it. Yeah. It's it's uh now Jeff's picture is is super sharp. Yeah. yeah. And Jeff's picture is super sharp? Yeah, yeah. it's very sharp. 
You can see some of my Mac Air. The smaller yeah. they get, the sharper they'll probably get. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me get rid of that. There we go. Okay, well, I've got it. I've got people on here a little better than they were before. Marcella, she, she looks good too. Yeah. Oh, yeah she's, oh, well, you've got your green screen. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was outside at the, <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> beach. Oh, Aren't you in Canada where it's freezing? Uh, Washington. Oh, that's enough. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? It's a new new headset. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's see here. And but you're you're squashed at the top. Wait a moment. Let me see what I can do here. Yeah, I'm using the new Skype on a Mac, and so I have a couple of circles and four squares. Yeah. It's kind of Hollywood squares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is. This is really working weird. Well, oh, you're very square. Yeah. Well, there we go. Now I've got a fairly good picture all the way around. Well, who knows what the story is here. Anyway, uh, hello, folks. How are you? We got a citizen panel. Boy, your, your green screen, you got looking pretty good now. Oh, awesome. New lights. Uh, what are you using? XSplit. Oh, I have X XSplit. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, you can also do it with that program that you have that you use. Uh, what's it called? I, I have it too, but I forgot what it's called. Uh, that uh, you're using to put the things over the air. Um, Alex? What? Uh, what, what? What's that free program you're using that uh, uh, decodes and puts it over the air? Um, it was. Um, you mean OBS? Yeah, OBS. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, using that, here. That has a green screen function. Yeah. Yeah. Not terrific, but uh, good enough. I don't enough. think any of them are terrific. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm doing some adjusting here to try and get a decent picture going. Uh, but you know. Um, anyway, where are we? So. Um, anything we want to talk about? <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess, uh, Teresa May's having a bad day. Yeah, yeah, she's having a bad day. And, uh, Trump is still walled up in the White House. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, Think uh, I can't, I can almost see the White House from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're in Washington. Oh. Yeah. Why'd you go over and apply? Bring him a ham sandwich. Why'd you go over and apply for an executive job over there? Right? An executive well, he's got job over there. Thousand cheeseburgers. He doesn't need my sandwich. <laughs> bring him a bucket of chicken. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I guess uh, I could apply for a job, but yeah. uh, fish to a newspaper while you're at it. The only problem is, uh, you know, he might fire me within thirty seconds, and you know. And he wouldn't he pay you anyway. Paid. Yeah. And yeah, and what you know? What can I do? Chief of staff? Nobody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't get paid. Well, I, I get enough employees that don't listen to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I, um, um, he, it, it, things don't look too good with uh, he and his old lawyer. His old lawyer looks like he's going to make life a living hell for him. Uh, we'll see. But, um, you know, I was, I was reading something uh, about these videos. Remember I said I saw a video of Obama saying that, you know, he was supporting the wall, and I saw another one of Hillary and another one of Chuck Schumer. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I was seeing online that there are people making these extreme fake videos where they take uh, uh, the movements of, uh, of someone and they're able to superimpose their face, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess all over the world there are people that are being, uh, they're making like sex tapes uh, of people that weren't involved in it, and uh, uh, it's it's uh, becoming an epidemic, oh. especially on YouTube. Uh, uh, an epidemic of what? Of fake uh, videos uh, that make people look like they're doing and saying one thing when uh, they had nothing to do with it. Called memes. 
Well, it's it's worse than that. It's like you you watch a four minute video uh, of someone uh, talking to you like they're really saying it or doing it. Wow. Yeah, but it's on the internet. It's got to be true. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I, it, oh, but it looks like it, it looks like uh, what's his name? His lawyer, uh, Cohen. Cohen, yeah. Um, well, Cohen, Cohen's a crook. We know that. Yeah. Uh, we know that he lies, and we know that uh, you know. He oh, so you you, you you think he's going to completely lie about everything he knows about the inner dealings of Donald Trump? I think he he'll he'll embellish. Yes, but I mean, how much does he have to say before you'll believe it? Uh, I don't think I'd believe anything he says. Really? I, yeah, I don't. Uh, I, you know, he's he's proven to be a a, a crook and a liar. Well, so is cr Trump. You know, say that's how I feel about Trump. Well, I'm sure that's how you feel about him. But, well, he had a reputation uh, as a crook and a liar before he was president. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, except he's doing everything that he promised his voters that that voted for him. He's doing everything he promised. Well, you know and how he he up that four million crook and a liar didn't vote for him. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, you know, That's what, 38, 40 percent of the population voted for him. He said he was going to do these things, and he's doing them. Percent, is it? He, he, you know, he's doing more than any other president has done in, uh, when it comes to promises. Every other president, as they were elected or campaigned, promised the world and, and usually doesn't do any of it. And now we got somebody well, that's because, doing it. Well, because they come to, because he what happens is. both sides. Well, he didn't promise the Democrats anything. Uh, I mean, he promises to build the wall, and then he promises not to build the wall. He promises to, to clean the swamp, and then he promises not to clean the swamp. Promises to pull out of Syria, and he's walking back on that, too. Well, you know, uh, I think he jumps the gun when it comes to uh, he shoots from the hip, and mm -hmm. then, he, uh, then he shoots himself in the foot quite often. And, and he finds out, you know, what he can do and he can't do. Like Alex said, uh, you know, uh, he's not a seasoned politician. So, you know, he's he's shooting from the hip. Uh, but at least he's retracting or stepping back when he realizes that his. No, but he is. But you say he is. He isn't doing what he said he was going to do. He said he was going to build a wall. And he was in Mexico pay for it. Well, what about that one? Well, he said that no, uh, he's, because of the New Deal yeah, yeah, yeah. that he uh, negotiated with Mexico. They, and, haven't, they haven't negotiated a deal with Mexico. They're still know, negotiating it. Well, you, you know, what he was also saying is that there's like a $130 billion cost per year of what it costs when the uh, uh, illegals come across, use services, uh, mm -hmm. work in a... Uh, in, in a uh, uh, in a non-taxed environment. He didn't uh, say that. That's not what he implied no, when he no, said, who's no. going to pay for the wall they right, no, are. But that, but that was a previous statement. You see, you keep... Wait a minute, that, of course, uh, that, but, they, but you're saying that he keeps his he, promises and he doesn't. Well, uh, he there's a, there's a lot of promises he made. He said he didn't want to get us involved in other conflicts and he didn't want to be the police of the world. And so he said he would go after ISIS, and now he's saying, hey, I want to pull out of uh, 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 Syria because this is not our conflict. In spite of the fact that his generals don't think he should. Well, no. There's, uh, if he put, hmm? It's like cops. If there's no crime, there's no cops, no need for cops. If there's no war, there's no need for generals. <sighs> How come one day there was a war and the next, next day there wasn't? Because he decided to pull out. Uh, okay. In other words, he declared he, he, what he did is what we did in Vietnam, which wasn't true. We declared a victory, and then we just left. Well, if 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 the if you really if the uh, Senate and the Congress want a war, uh, they can declare it, can't they? You know, it, it's not up to Trump. This is a police action. If you look at it as Korea or Vietnam, those were undeclared wars. We never had a war with them. We had a police action. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't it up to uh, the Congress to declare war? Uh, yes. So if if they feel that we should be there, they let them declare the war. Too, well, declaring war, there's a difference between declaring war and going into what's it called a police action. 
Well, you know, we went to Sarajevo. Like we, we never. Under, I don't think we ever declared a war in Vietnam. That was nope, a police action. But we did in World War II. That's the only we, one. That's the last, the very last one. The last that's the very last one that we did. Right. And how does it work out? Well, for well, us? what are those other things? Whether you had North, you had South Korea, you had 55, uh, 59,000 American dead in Vietnam, which was not a war. Right. Okay, and I'd say I'd say pretty serious stuff for not being wars. Right, but these these were these were uh, conflicts that uh, the leadership involved us in, without the sanction of Congress, right. and so therefore we weren't in those conflicts to win them for one reason or another. Wait, 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 Jeff, wait a minute, Jeff has something to say. Uh, uh, your mic's off, Jeff. You're, you're yeah. muted. Jeff. Put your mic on. I'm on. Okay. Yeah. As far as Vietnam, I remember that place. Mm -hmm. And one thing that you say, well, the government, the government, you know, really didn't support it. Well, how'd they get paid for all of this stuff? How did we shoot all the bullets out there? Where did who paid for that? Mm. Our Congress. The Mexicans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Congress. Well, uh, I mean, uh, 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 what do you want to call Vietnam? Was was not a real war or a bad war or a fake war. Jeff, it was uh, fifty thousand people. And, got and let's 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 talk. Let's how talk. How many people let's talk. made money? How many people made money on the Vietnam War? All of those people in Congress uh, were making money on that war. Uh, they were, you know, when you supply arms and so forth, it's a it's a money making thing. War is profitable. What are you going to say, Phil? What are you going to say, no, Phil? When, what are you going to say, Phil, when perhaps it is finally uh, shown that your president has been working as an agent for the for the uh, Russia? I, I seriously doubt that. You know, how uh, many here seriously doubt that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I call it like, huh? To be determined. To be right. determined. TBD. Uh, TBD. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm not quite on the he's a Russian puppet bandwagon, but I'm more of a he's uh, selling his uh, services and his soul to the you want to say that word to the highest bidders, among which would include like uh, defense contractors and organized crime outfits, whether it's in Russia, whether it's the Italian mob, you know. But Brian, guys like Manafort and uh, and Cohen, uh, Cohen offered influence. Uh, for money, Manafort took money for influence, and uh, these, these people, uh, regardless of whether Cohen was his attorney, I think Cohen is an opportunist, and Manafort was in trouble for money and saw his position as a way of uh, continuing to live his lifestyle. I don't know that Trump needed that money uh, to for him to maintain his lifestyle like Cohen and Manafort did. Well, given the lawsuit that pended most recently up to his presidency with Trump University, he probably did need that money to support his lifestyle. No, nah, you know, Trump University was something he lended his name to and uh, and, and, and was, uh, you know, like so, some of the other ventures he's had as well as buildings. You know, he it, it's easy, you know, he, he was building a brand and his brand was his name. Brand and of bankruptcy. Telling that, uh, and he sold it to a to a group that came up with an idea. Uh, you know, I'm sure he wasn't out there teaching the course. <laughs> you know, maybe he made a couple promotional videos for these guys, but uh, no. But he said he picked the people that were teaching yeah. the course. Marce Mar Marcella. Yeah, he said that he was selling his expertise in real estate. I don't know how you can say that you're selling your expertise, the university has your name on it, and somehow you're not accountable. I That's didn't say he wasn't accountable, but I don't think that he managed the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, and, uh, you know, it. Uh, most of these uh, universities are found to be uh, very, uh, uh, very shifty. Uh, you know, there, there's uh, there was a, one of these uh, technical universities that was around for a long time. They were ripping off students. They promised that if you go through their courses, they can find you a job. They never find jobs for these people. My my girlfriend went to, for the phlebotomy course and uh, she paid thousands of dollars. They never got her a job. And, so doesn't and, that make you angry that Trump would do that and yeah, we still elect him? 
but most of those uh, pay for uh, pay universities like this that aren't real universities. They uh, are they're ripoffs. Uh, you know, I'm trying to think of uh, the name of the one that went out of business about uh, two years ago. Uh, they taught people to be uh, nursing assistants yeah. and, uh, uh, and, and uh, the, you know other things like uh, computer. Uh, the Heald, I think it was Heald. Uh, Heald, yeah, that's it. Heald, Heald College, and uh, so you know that one went under, and they were around for a long time, but it was really yeah. But there was a time though when Heald was okay, because I had a friend of mine who had a whole career in electronics because he graduated from Heald. Yeah, but uh, I think they went the way of Trump University. Well, with time, they probably did. But you say it went the way of Trump University. It's got his name on it, Phil. Yeah, doesn't well, that it make had you mad? name on it, too. Yeah, doesn't that did make that you mad? that guy is president? I mean, did you vote for that guy? Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, he okay. did. How did you vote for that guy? That's what I don't understand. As and I a, vote for him in 2020. Why would you vote for such a charlatan? Because I don't think he's a charlatan. I like what he's doing. I, I think that uh, the news is trying to paint him as a charlatan. He opens his mouth and he types a tweet. You can't paint that. He does that himself. Well, uh, I agree with most of his tweets, <laughs> Marcella. You know, uh, I, you know, also I'm not quite sure if he has a different agenda with those tweets. You know, that, uh, that he's, um, you know how magician redirects uh, Phil, 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 Phil. Yes, the man, the that. man, the man is <laughs> president of the United States. Yeah, but he's not. Okay. He's, he's wait a minute. President. The man is president Why? of the United States. Is that, it, 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 he, he does not, he does not, he's required to live by a higher standard than some guy who's got a blog, you well, know? You, you said you said yesterday, or the last time that you had a show, that uh, guys like Gavin... No, Newsom, the last time I had a show was about five years ago, but no, go no, ahead. Well, you know, on Gab, you know, last week. Uh, you said that uh, guys like Gavin Newsom and uh, Cory Booker, that they had the personality, they had the, uh, uh, the, um, the presentation... So, it, but it isn't about presentation. It's about substance, and it's and it's about what they want to do. And you know, these guys may be, uh, you know, just empty vessels, like they call Trump. Uh, you know, they that they're they're just a, another pretty face, and uh, and that's and that's what gets elected. And mm -hmm. that's not what I wanted. I wanted somebody to go in there and rock the world of Washington D.C that would uh, go in there and make them uh, stand up and have to do the right well, thing. Well, has he made them do it? Well, he's, he's being <laughs> no, fought to no. the nail. What he's Fox done, what he's done if you're going to get things done, you have to know how to be political about it. And Not the fact is, wait a minute, the fact is that if you get everybody with their backs against the wall who are only going to say no every time you want something, then you've lost already, Phil, because that's not being political and that's not being Washington. Because well, you got to know how to play that game down there. Let's see how this comes out. You know, is he going to lose? I'll tell you how it's going to turn out. This man is going to be kicked out of office. And this man is going to wind up in fucking jail. I don't think so, but uh, you know that you may hope that. No, I'm but, not hoping that. I don't uh, want that for any president. Look, look, who knows how long I'm going to live? Uh, I would love to live under a president. Uh, I'd love to go to my just reward having a president in office where this country is in good hands, but I don't think I'm going but to. But I think you will. You know, uh, I, I just don't think he's an empty suit like most of these other. Uh, oh, give guys me a break. Are... He fills that suit quite tightly. <laughs> That's why it's not empty. <laughs> yeah. By the way, anybody see Family Guy this week? No, nah, I don't. I've never watched. Well, it. I haven't it yet. what? I heard about it though. But... Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! It just took Trump to the woodshed. It's a cartoon. Uh, yes, I know. A wonderful cartoon in which uh, in which something goes flying across the room and Mitch McConnell takes his head and puts it into his body like a turtle in a shell. 
Yeah. I like the one they how they treated it in South Park with. Uh, yeah, well, uh, this is this. He actually, he and Peter get into a knocked out, dragged out fight that goes on for about five minutes on this show. Well, oh, when you see when you see Brian and uh, McConnell uh, after they're being reamed by uh, Trump, mm -hmm. uh, you see them with like black eyes and with <laughs> semen on their face. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that I'm binge watching 161 episodes of Sea Hunt. Oh God. On <laughs> Oh, God. Was that Lloyd Bridges? Yeah, I love that. And uh, and uh, I've, I've been having an all Bridges week because uh, on the plane flight out, uh, American had really lousy movies. And so the only movie that I hadn't seen is The Big Lebowski. Big and, Lebowski. Uh, Lebowski, yeah. And uh, uh, I saw about 90% uh, of it, and then uh, I fell asleep. <laughs> but, uh, really? It, 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 was, it, it was cute. Dude. Dude, yeah. dude, the dude, yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, it's just that uh, I don't know. I just, uh, eh, I've not been feeling too good about anything lately, and least of all about where our government is going at this time. You know, um, it, he, if anything, you could say that he has created a divisive uh, situation in Washington in which nobody is moving now. Nobody, nobody's negotiating. Nobody's giving up territory. They're all standing firm because he's Absolutely. created, okay. because he's created, he's created this stasis. He has paralyzed Washington, D.C. by his actions. And it's okay for the Democrats not to negotiate uh, hey, with him hey, because hey, hey. he's Trump. I'm saying that is a result of his attitude and them reacting to it. That well, this is happened, not the art of negotiation. What happened to the Alex Bennett in 1973 that wanted to stick it to the man? You know that uh, that that the government. Well, I still evil. do, but the man now and has always been Donald Trump. What makes you think he wasn't the man? Well, because the rest of them. This was a guy who owned rental properties and and was yeah. throwing people out of their homes for Christ's sake. He's the well, man, that's what I asshole. Can't understand. That's exactly right. That's what I can't understand. This is the guy that everybody was was ready to string up, and all of a sudden he's God. I don't get it. Well, nobody said he's God, but at least he's standing up to the other guys well, that are. Uh, I don't know about that. You know. Uh, I, hey, there was a 12 or 13 percent approval rating of a Congress under Bush and under Obama. Mm -hmm. uh, the Congress was hated. And now he, he's fighting with these guys and everybody is supporting the, 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 the original bad guys. Brian's got to stand up. Yeah, Brian. Just, just as a side note, uh, your favorite senator, Kristen Gillibrand, has been announced that she's uh, going to throw her hat in the ring for the 2020 election. Well, I ain't voting for her. Good for her. <laughs> well, so good. Not after what yeah, she did to Al. Her. Not after what she did to Al Franken. I thought that was just mm. absolutely terrible. Back I mean, it, you know, when you've got uh, a very liberal person, and you consider yourself to be a liberal, you don't eat your own. And that's what she did to Al Franken. Uh, it, it, it was, but if the Republicans didn't didn't uh, make moves, Alex, to uh, strip Steve King mm -hmm. of his uh, of his uh, of his of his committee ships, uh, would you have been saying the same thing that uh, good for them for not eating their own? Well, uh, in the case of Steve King, to begin with, um, I think that Steve King got, was gotten at this point because they've been waiting to get him for the longest time. OK, because he's that been a, he's been pretty much been a douchebag forever. Yeah. All right. Uh, and and I think that when it when this thing happened under normal circumstances, this would have been a rebuke. But it was Stephen King. Steve, is his name Stephen? Yeah. Steve, yeah. Steve. Stephen, yeah. Stephen King. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the uh, Stephen yeah. King? yeah. Uh, the other one's quite liberal. But yeah. Not. Where's the real one when we need him? Uh, uh, he, um, you know, he's been a douchebag for a long time. And so this was the thing that finally they went, okay, let's get him on this one. You know, in the case of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, 
uh, in, in the case of, I just answered him. Hey, there we go. There we go. All right. Hello, okay. There we go. Um, I'm, oh, I'm I, get, I, get, I guess now I have a, a whole new form of show business going on here. Uh, hello, Bree. Are you there? Hello. Hello, Alex. How are you, Bree? I'm good. I'm good. I, yeah, I'm watching all these people jumping into the Democratic race. Uh, it's going to be, I, I mean, I think everybody's just going to start announcing this could be the largest field that we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And there's no one, there's 32? no lightning rod like Trump. So I think what we're going to see is uh, it's basically going to be the brand names. Anybody who has a name and can pull above a certain percentage, they're going to be the ones who will be allowed in the debates and whatnot. Because otherwise, you're going to have, you know, 25 people up on stage. It'll be it'll be impossible to figure anything out. The only reason that Trump was able to stand out in front of the other ones is that the media got uh, thought it was a joke and they gave him so much free press uh, yeah. that uh, that he was able to uh, stand out in the crowd. And, uh, That's right. You know, if he was just, so, you know, if they left so if him. Al Franken would have been around. He, he might have had a chance, but they need somebody like, uh, I don't know, like Kevin Hart or somebody to, to run. Somebody who would, you know, kind of be a joke. Kanye West, if he wanted to be a Democrat, I don't know. Uh, Kim Kardashian, if they seriously, they need somebody. All the politicians, they're not going to do anything. You get one person in there who's a non-politician and they'll win. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, I've got to get up at 5.15 tomorrow morning mm -hmm. for uh, my first meeting. Mm -hmm. So uh, you guys can bash Trump all you want. <laughs> okay. Well, have, have a nice sleep. Hey, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. But it's uh, East Coast stuff. But hard. There's, there is one final point, and then I'll, I, I can do my video here. I gotta, but the thing I'll tell you is I don't think anybody can beat Trump because I think the Russians have figured out how to hack the system. Yeah. So I think that no matter who you run, they can, uh, they can hack it. And the more people that run, the more they can say, hey, there, you know, there's so many people. Uh, we didn't really know who the clear winner is or who was going to do anything. And so they can hack, they can even hack probably the primary to put, you know, who they think can be most discredited. Uh, if, if it's Pocahontas, if they like that, if the Russians think that, then they'll, they can just hack it. But I think they can, they'll hack the election in 2020. Guarantee it. I mean, they're going to, they'll definitely try. Uh, yeah. Trump does whether they can succeed. But a lot of these districts. Especially since we're not doing anything to protect against that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's just what's going to happen. Mm. Well, well, oh, here comes uh, Rob Alfano. Uh, hello, Rob. Are you there? There he is. I'm here. Yeah, there he is. Um, so um, I've been listening to your Trump's things with Phil here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Phil, what about the promise for oh, the Phil, best Phil, health care? Phil's gone, yeah. by the way. He's gone? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Why did he leave? Uh you can't handle the East Coast time zone. <laughs> oh, he said he had to log off because he was tired. Yeah, yeah, no, because oh, he has okay. an. Early... Get up at five then, I I I just uh, was listening to you, so there must be a huge lag on on your uh, on on the YouTube, and everybody is delayed, so the audio doesn't match the video. Oh, oh wow. really? Mm. Yeah, it does for me. It didn't for me. I was watching it on. Gabnet. I know. I know. I know. We we probably this is the last we're going to see of the citizen panel at least uh, as video or doing our video presentation uh, because um, it just it's impossible. Uh, I can't do it on this uh, on the on the uh, uh, on the Mac so because of, the, of the this audio? of this delay thing. And I can't do it on the uh, 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 other machine because of just the myriad of problems that uh, that the new Skype entails, and they won't let me use the old Skype. So you know, I'm, I, I, it's pretty well killed Gabnet. Let me put it that way. Well, yeah. it killed the video. Video yeah. killed the radio star. So yeah, yeah. You still uh, use uh, uh, Skype for audio though? Audio only. Uh, do I still use Skype for audio only? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, I can, oh, I can use Skype for audio only. Yeah, absolutely. 
but you know, uh, I just I, I just find it. Uh, oh boy, it's just very frustrating. This whole thing. I heard, I heard they just improved FaceTime, so you well, can get yeah, like twenty five people. Yeah, but the problem is, it, raise your hands, people. How many here have Macs? I have an iPhone. There we go. You know, that's it. You know, so uh, it, it it we can't really. Um, it, it really or doesn't. WebEx. Huh? WebEx is, WebEx is really good. What's it's WebEx? What's free? Web? No. no. That's the problem. WebEx isn't free. Yeah. I mean. It's a great I product. Free. I have WebEx. Uh, why they Adobe take something. Connect. You know. It's also called Boteam. Yeah. I can't figure out why they take something like, uh, like, um, uh, uh, we're about two seconds off, by the way, in video. Yeah. It's about right. Um, the, the, the thing that, that bothers me about uh, about this is the old Skype was perfect. It was fine. Just in, if you're going to improve, improve on that model. But don't change the engine. And they changed the engine. And now the thing is completely unintuitive. That's the worst part about it. You don't know where everything is. I've spent days trying to figure it out and i still don't completely understand it and i couldn't tonight even do something as simple as get a citizen panel together and put them all in a, in a group together where before all i had to do was just click on the person who was calling and there was a little thing that said add to group you'd click on that it would put them online and you'd join the group you know so and this, uh, for some reason, I, and I don't know why, Skype on the Mac is, is delayed. It, it's slow, you know. What you're watching, everybody, is the video of, of what we have here. But by the time that video gets into OBS, it's, it slows down. Everybody, you're in sync as I look at Skype, okay? Um, so uh, I just, I don't even understand it, to be honest with you. I, I can't tell you. can't tell you why all these problems happen, but it's... There's one other possibility, and I may try it tomorrow night, and, and that's using... trying to use the new Skype on this machine, which does take the video off of the actual screen and see what I can do about figuring out how to put people on together. It may be slightly different on the Mac. I don't know, but, you know, this is just... This is very distressing, to say the least, you know. And, and, and why those assholes over at Microsoft did this is beyond me. And I don't know how many other people it's putting out of work or putting out of a, 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 an art form, but it certainly has ruined what we're doing. Uh, and uh, I Hopefully, don't, if you follow on Phil's lead, hopefully that'll help you out. Well, I don't think that they are going to have the answers to tell you the damn truth. I think they're going to have a very complicated answer, just like, you know, I, the, what I had to do to get everybody together on, in, in a citizen panel was to put you all a, on, a, on a list and, and put you onto that. And then, then add to that every time somebody called, I could then call them back and add them. Uh, that's way too much trouble compared to the way it was. And I have no idea why they, why they would take something that was working. And what you do is you take something that's working and you simply improve on it. You don't completely rewrite it. It's so, like that line in Casino, the movie Casino, we took a good thing and fucked it all up. Y yep, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right, you know. And so what are you, you going to do, you know? Uh, I think that they, they've got a lot of people who are working there mm -hmm. and they go into work every day and the boss says, well, you know, we got to do something here. We got to, you know, shine, you know, buff the buff, the wax, the tires or something. <laughs> and so yeah. I think that they just say, well, let's uh, we'll come up with something. We'll call it new. And, uh, you know, we're doing our job. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I seriously think that's why they do it, because they have nothing else to do. They're sitting around. They're supposed to do something. And so they, you know, they want to innovate. This is what they do. Yeah. This is what they come up with. Yep. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, who knows? 
who knows what the situation is and, and why they're the same, why they're this way. Uh, I, I don't understand it, and it makes no sense to me. But I just found something I can do. I can take you guys, and as you talk, your picture comes on. Um, yeah, that, that, that works. That works. Start talking there. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me, yeah, okay. let me see. There's, there's Bree. And then if, if uh, Rob starts talking, start, start talking, Rob. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you yeah. see me? Well, Do I pop up? Yep. I can see Rob. Yep. Up. Yep. And uh, you're, but you, of course, you're not in sync. But, uh, and say something. Not so, in sync, say, right? Clear. We're right. not in sync, though. But it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I could do it that way. You think it's not in sync because maybe you're are you using everything off that Mac and maybe the Mac is a little overpowered, so the no. audio is is uh, processing before the video. My, my, and... my CPU is only at eleven point four percent, and I that. have eleven gigabytes of memory still free on the machine. Yeah, it's not that. It's not that. No, I've always had that problem with this machine. You know, so I don't, I don't know. What you know, but I mean, I just, it's very, it's very frustrating. It's very daunting. And, uh, you know, I'm getting too old for this shit, you know? I mean, come on. It worked. It worked, I was guys. waiting on that. Huh? I was waiting on you to say something like that. What, I'm getting too old That's for this? That's true. I mean, well, I, I don't argue with you there. I mean, it's... You know, I tell you, I, I have troubles with you something. Have time. The older I get, I have trouble with technology and, like, for example, some of this stuff with the the, uh, the NAS. And I start to try to figure out something and do something. Mm -hmm. And then I send it. I send an email to tech support because I can't figure something out. And then they get back to me a day or so later, and I can't remember what the hell I was even doing in the first place. <laughs> well, you know something? You're in more in sync now than you were earlier. Um Somebody else say hello. Marcella, talk to us. Your picture will suddenly come up. Hello. Does my picture hello. pop up? Yep, there it is. See? And you're in sync on this. That's strange. It. It, it's really strange. Where, where, yeah, where, male, where, female, the older you get, the less patience you have, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's true. Well, you, well, less patience and, I mean, I, I, I can't believe that I can't figure out how on that Skype to easily add people to the calls. You know, I just don't understand it. I'm capable of it. You know, <laughs> just give me a hint. But I go online and it's all this. And then you make this group here and you do this and you do. And you can't, I can't figure it out. What's the easy way? You know, why couldn't they in their, in their new Skype make it so that if you call, uh, you, you're added, you know, you, you come in and then I can drop, dra drag and drop you into the call or something like that. You know, something simple, but no. And, and these guys sit over at Microsoft jerking off saying, hey, look what we can do. Yeah, but are people going to be able to use it? That's the problem. And the answer is a big fat fucking no. Um, what's the picture you're showing us, Bree? They can't see it because all I've got is full pictures now, but I can, uh, I can. Uh, is Trump is dead if he doesn't build the water, wall. if he doesn't build the wall. Yeah. Who's that, Ann Coulter? Yeah. Ann Coulter. What, what did Ann Coulter say? He's dead. Trump is dead in the water if he doesn't build the wall. Yeah, that's that the reason agree. why. On that's that, the, I agree. Yeah, but that's the reason why this shutdown is going as long as it did because he's listening. He's listening to uh, Laura Ingram and and uh, yeah. Coulter and Sean Hannity. And it's, it's funny, you know, Dillbrand in her speech when she said she was running, it was all about women are pissed off and this is her path forward. But two other women have already announced before her. So. And now, in, in retrospect, you can see how Jill Brand went after Franken because she was setting herself up to be able to run for president. I mean, it's so, the machinations, you know, it's just totally political. Well, that's why she went after Franken, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, no question uh, about it. I just hope she polls, in, you know, under 5% and doesn't get into any of the uh, debates. I don't see her candidacy going anywhere. Well, I will do everything here in New York to fight that. You know, if there are protests, I'm going, you know. 
I mean, okay. uh, if she's going to go as the Me Too candidate, she certainly is disparaging Me Too by doing it. You know. Anybody here? Um, Trump's latest uh, saying that he that he wants to pull America out of NATO. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, that's the new talk today. He wants to pull him. He no, doesn't. That's what Putin wants. Yeah, exactly. You well, know, exactly. the Libertarian Party platform has been calling for for years. You know, when I first heard this this theory that he uh, he was a Russian agent, I kind of. I don't know. I kind of went, uh, then, nah. It's and the more I thought about it, the more I went, yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, you know the, the guy that looks like Brian, who's on CNN all the time, he's a Trump, former Trump somebody. And he looks just like Brian, but he's got a completely shaved head. And I can't think of his name right now, but I've seen him on a number of times. And tonight was the first time where he was, you could, he, he was not, you know, staunch Trump and all the stuff going on with Manafort now, the, the new allegations mm -hmm. toward Manafort. Even he was saying, boy, you know, there, there's, uh, you know, this is pretty serious. Yeah, yeah, and it is pretty serious. Uh, I, I mean, if, if in fact he was doing business for the Russians, I mean... This is like the Manchurian fucking candidate. It's crazy. You know? It's, it's, uh, and, and um, it's as though Putin got elected his boy to do his bidding. Exactly. You know? And, and if that's the case, this is scary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, I'd hang him for treason, for Christ's sake. First of all, he's up for, he's being investigated from every angle. Why can't they say, why can't they say, you know what? You're not pulling out of NATO. You're not doing anything. You're going to run this country at a marginal, until we figure out who you are and what you are, we're clipping your wings. Why can't that happen? Because you're innocent a, until proven he's guilty. He's going to appoint ex-Supreme Court justice. That's why. You're, you're innocent until proven guilty. We get that. But in, while you're under all of these allegations, mm -hmm. you're not going to be allowed to make major changes like pulling the United States out of the NATO alliance. Jeff? The problem that you have is the Senate. Mitch McConnell. Yeah. Yep. They want the Supreme Turtle Court. They, they want Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Well, but look, wouldn't, they have that? wouldn't they have that if you got Pence in there? They would still uh, have it. No, because Trump is able to cause a lot of confusion and misdirection, and he can support a candidate. I mean, think of what he did for Kavanaugh. He brought him to the White House, I think, and he said, this guy, uh, turns out he's completely innocent. Everything that was said was just a hoax. You can't see Pence really saying that, right? I don't That's know. I don't trust him either, though, but, but I don't know. You know, I don't think Pence is as... Uh, I mean, he may be religiously radical, but I don't know that he's so politically radical. I think well, I if think he Trump wants to get his way, he he will sit there and be quiet or do what he needs to do. That's that's why we're in the situation we're in. Because <sighs> nobody want, they don't want to stand up. They want to get the next Supreme Court justice. Well, I, I got news up. for him. For what they pulled on Obama with Merrick Garland, they're they're done. You know no, what I mean? They're they're not gonna. Not. They're, no, the they Senate got, still is in Republican no, control. They're clear. They're, they're not gonna they're get it past they Congress. They're, they're not gonna they, get it past they, Congress. Don't they have they to don't have it approved? Senate. There's Only the Senate has, has no say in that. The oh, House, House has no say. Did, did anybody? I, I, a lot of you said you didn't see the the thing with um, um, on Family Guy, but there was a point at which um, uh, Trump is trying to touch um, Meg's pussy. And um, uh, he's he's then trying to kiss her with his big tongue coming out, like Ugh. like, and he's like Jabba the Hutt, and he's suddenly sounding like like Jabba the Hutt. And over in the corner, remember they had this kind of this weird animal who was chuckling along at Jabba the Hutt. It's Pence. <laughs> you know, uh, huh, it's a very huh, funny, huh. very well, I funny. I think uh, Grub, contrary to what you're saying, I think uh, Trump is. Uh, 
self-centered, self-absorbed, and self-destructive enough that he'll, if he can take Pence down with him, he will, because he's just, you know, he, he doesn't right. care. He's I going down. He'll take as many he other. Needs Pence he to give him the pardon. There's a lot of dirt on Pence too, from what I understand. I think he'll uh, take he this entire country down to protect himself. Yes, oh, yeah. he's already yes, doing that. Mm. Protect his legacy of his wall. Yeah, he's taking a lot of the country down. Not the I, least I, of which includes the National Guard. By the way, who hasn't been paid? It's the yeah. first time that a that a branch of the U.S. military hasn't been paid since the Revolutionary War. I just well, saw that. What I don't get, what I don't get, is is uh, uh, how this guy can say that he wants the wall because Americans have to be protected, and yet because of this, we don't have a TSA working. Uh, the courts that are taking care of immigration cases are not working. I mean. He's put this country. He's put this country in in secure in danger of, of of massive security lapses because of this. You know. Yeah, and think of all the postings and positions that are not filled. I mean, it just it it boggles the mind. If you were China or Russia uh, or any other country and you wanted to do stuff, now's the time. Mm -hmm. Basically, because Trump's not going to do anything. He's just protecting himself in the in the White House. Uh, China is rattling sabers about taking back Taiwan. Russia is is rattling sabers about you know the former Soviet bloc countries. Yeah. It's really scary. Uh, and they're and they're we're, also we're regressing saying, all around the globe. Uh, we're going to wind up in a guns. world war. We need there's more and leadership. more guns being found at the airport now that, too. Another civil war, possibly. Yeah. I think we're winding. We're going to wind up in world chaos and another world war. Yeah. And possibly a civil war to boot, too. Well, that's possible. Well, you know, I had uh, the 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 uh, good news is I might have cancer, and the bad news is that it might take me 15 years to die from it. Uh, and all, with all that's going on, that's not exactly the best news in the world, you know, that I'm the, – the cancer isn't going to kill me. His nukes are going to kill me, uh, you know. Not fast enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, I, 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 the good news for me is that I won't be able to afford to retire and have a long, long, long retirement because I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. But uh, I won't have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know. You'll be you dead know. like me. Yeah. I mean, I love what he says about, oh, we have more people with jobs and the jobs are terrific. And hey, have you taken a look at the stocks lately? Have you seen how much money people who've been working and saving have lost because of him? You know, and it's, it's terrible. It's just terrible. And he sent Pompeo to Egypt to basically, it seemed like his direction was, uh, look up and see what Obama said last time, and then just counter every part of that any way you can. Yeah, and just exactly. go ahead and do that. That seems to be what the directive was. Now, talk about confusing everybody. You know, you're just there two years ago, and you say, "Hey, uh, you know, we want to we want to see what we can do." And then two years later, it's like, "No, all of you are terrible again." What? You know, and and the whole riff in the Gulf was started by Trump. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that doesn't seem, and now, and now Pompeo is saying you've got to resolve the rift. It shouldn't have been started in mm. the first place. Uh, Marcel, yeah, Mar and, yeah Marcel, as a woman here, let's get a woman's opinion on all of this. Oh, okay. First of all, I'm sorry to hear about your diagnosis. Well, maybe. it's, it's, it, it may be, it's a 85% chance. And at my age, most of the people on this panel will have this kind of prostate cancer. It's just a small little amount and they use hormones to keep it from getting worse and they keep you alive for 15 years so yeah and i i i'm gonna outlive that and i'm you know it's gonna outlive me uh well, that's good so it's not it, it please don't feel sorry for me okay uh but I have sympathy. <laughs> huh yeah yeah uh but you know it's something i can use around the house like when she asked me to take out the garbage i just go but i have cancer <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what what don't yell at me i my my cancer is hurting today you know whatever um so you had a question that motherfucker yeah, no, I did, my question to you was you're you know as a woman how do you look at this whole thing i mean uh it's not good for women either no 
at every turn he's terrible to women yeah. <laughs> as a woman i can tell you that um <clears throat> it's not new i mean i'm not super young so it's not shocking to me so the mm-hmm. things that he does and says mm-hmm. but um yeah it's it's uh not someone i would ever vote for and i vote and i'm more active than i have been before yeah when, yeah. when you put kavanaugh in the supreme court after all the stuff that's done, and then go on to mock um, the woman who is obviously attacked in some way. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's horrific. It's terrible. And even um, and even if she wasn't attacked, let's say by him, let's say you can't prove that she was in, affected by some incident when she was younger, and she should have some kind of respect for that. You know? And even those who don't say he did it, which mm-hmm. I believe he did, but that's just my opinion. Even those that say that, they, universally people feel that something happened to her mm-hmm. that caused a great deal of distress. And he went on national television and yeah. mocked her Mocked-er. like a seventh grader. Yeah. 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 Terrible. Just terrible. So, you know, what are you, you going to do? So, yeah. We remember that stuff when we go to vote. <laughs> Good. So, Good, and remind everybody you know. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Those that aren't with ha, afflicted with Stockholm syndrome. Hmm. I said those women that aren't afflicted with Stockholm syndrome. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, my parents' generation, the women tend to vote with their husband, whatever that happens to be. But I'm not one of those people. Yeah. Well, at least the one thing you can say about Trump is he makes R. Kelly look good. Uh, <laughs> anybody see that documentary by the way i watched uh, all th- uh, five hours of it twice because i saw it and then i wanted my wife to see it it's fascinating Where is that? huh it's on the uh, lifetime oh okay yeah it's on lifetime and uh it's 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 pretty amazing that this guy has gotten away with this kind of crap for the longest yeah. time. I, I bet you that that goes on all the time. I bet it's you there bad. are dozens of others. There are dozens oh, of others. I'm, just I'm, R. Kelly is fading. His star is fading, and he's they're able to pile on. Well, because he's yeah, done. yeah. But while he was star wasn't phase, uh, fading, his record companies were sticking by him. You know because he made him money. Yeah, it's the same right. old story. Yeah, money and celebrity. And it, but it's 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 an amazing, amazing uh, story. If you get to see the documentary, it, it's on. Uh, it was on Lifetime. Uh, the only way that's ever going to change is if you change the laws and mm-hmm. say if you enable, you're just as guilty. Yeah. So if he's been proven that he's a pedophile, and then they come and they say, well, how did this happen? And people knew about it and hid it. Well, they're going to do some time too. Maybe not the same, but. That's the only way is you got to hold people accountable for their actions. If you know about this, saying, you're you're an accomplice. Well, if you download his song, if you buy his song, mm-hmm. you're an accomplice. No, I'm talking you're, about. You're, you're, yes, you are, but you're 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 not the, the you didn't have any you know uh, you don't have any real. There are people who are covering up, like the like uh, Paterno <laughs> at, at Penn wrong. State, right? Yeah. Like, but here's my question. Has R. Kelly been in a court of law? Uh, yes, he has, and he was found not guilty of, of earlier charges. Uh, the the, right, char- so the charges they're making now are the way he is, treats women. He enslaves them. This, he keeps them as slaves in his... And in Rick his, James did that, too. Yes. He was, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. And Alex, it's yeah. like... Ashley Judd's case was thrown out. Kevin Spacey's in, still in court. Mm-hmm. I think you know we've got a we got a mix going on here. I think we're we're allowing the media to be the judge, ju- you know, jury and everything. I think the OJ case had a lot to do with all this crazy stuff going on. Yeah, it was like hey, the beginning of all of that. Hey, listen, I got the theme playing. I want to thank uh, 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 Bree for being here, and I want to thank. Uh, 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 Brian and I want to thank Charlie and I want to thank Jeff and I want to thank uh, Char- uh, 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 Charlie Wallace and I want to thank wait a minute, everybody's going so I can't see them uh, 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 <laughs> don't forget Phil huh Marcella thank Phil. you call us again Marcella you're terrific uh, and, and and Kevin I think I got everybody that's here Rob okay all right 
Is that all of you? Okay, that's all of you. Hey, thanks, everybody. I appreciate your call this evening. Uh, uh, we'll see what we're going to do tomorrow night. Maybe we'll try to try and make it work with this tomorrow night. But basically do an audio show and have video coverage. How's that? Huh? Anyway, that's it for now. That's our, uh, that's our, uh, 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 that's our thing. That's our, uh, hold on a second. I got to get rid of some stuff here. Okay. That's our uh, show for tonight. Uh, it's so good having you here. Hope we'll have you back again tomorrow night. I hope uh, maybe we can do a slightly better presentation tomorrow night, although we're still going to be experimenting. Who knows? But somehow we'll keep this thing going because I'm a fighter. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, Jack Bishop is next with the Ram with the intersection. I'll be back tomorrow night after Damien. Oh, well, actually, tomorrow night we have the sports show at 8.30, uh, the arena with the franchise MC. Then it's Damien at 9.30 and me at 10. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>